Next up, we have wide receiver Preston Fox. Questions for Preston, Greg? Preston, so obviously we'll get into the game a lot, but just last week leading up to it, the, the, the hype, the excitement, especially for a Morgantown kid, what was that like? I mean, it was a pretty big game going into it. Um, there was a lot of hype around it, but I was kind of calm in the situation. Um, you can't get too hyped up about it. You just got to stay calm and in the like get ready for the game. Can't be emotional. Just got to get ready for it. Is that hard not to get emotional in a moment like that in a big game like that? Is, is it hard not to get overexcited? Yeah, it's hard, but um, you kind of just got to prepare just like a regular week, like in fall camp. You got to see it just as another practice, just as another opponent, just like you're going against the guys every day in practice. Just got to try to win every every time you get up against somebody. Quick stand before the field goal. Was it there? Yeah, it was there. But I mean, things happen in games like that. You can't blame anybody for anything. Just got to move forward and try to get the next drive. Things happen. Did you figure out what the offensive struggles during the game were? Were, were they, was it Penn State, you guys, combination? I mean, Penn State played really well, and we didn't play up to our standards. Um, we left a lot out there. And like when they, uh, when we, or they fumbled the ball back to us, we should have taken advantage of that and went down and scored. That was a big thing for us. Most disappointing part of the game for you? For me, just like, I would say not playing to our standard. Um, we are a lot better team than that. Uh, we didn't put out there what we should have put out there, and and we know that, and we'll hold ourselves accountable and show you all next week. On the one pass play that you didn't come up with right before you did have a catch, what happened there? Do you feel like that was one you should have had? or was Yeah, that, that, was, that was definitely on me. Um, they had a really nice coverage for that play. Um, and that was honestly, I, I take full responsibility for that. I should have kept my route higher on that, and things happen. What's the mood the last couple of days? How do you guys get this thing turned around? Say that again? How, what's the mood been like since then? How, how do you get this thing turned back around? I mean, you just got to stay positive. Mm -hmm. um, in situations like that, it's hard. It's It sucks uh, going into the weekend, and everybody's really upset. But once you get to the new week, you got to... You know you have another game. It's a long season. You got to stay positive. Now that you, I mean you're a veteran of this team, you're one of the team leaders, and the wide receivers kind of were a little scrutinized after the game with some drops. What did you say? Did you have a message to the guys uh, moving forward? Yeah, personally, I just think as a leader, I just need to hold them better accountable. And we didn't play to our standard, and we got to be better in the next upcoming weeks, which we will. Did you articulate that to them like after yeah, the game? Yeah, yeah, I, I talked to them. Anything about what Penn State did defensively? And maybe you said, well, I know the, the defensive end was pretty active. Was there anything out there that you said, yeah, pretty good? Uh, they just they just played harder than us. They played better than us. That's all I have to say about that. Preston, your story, obviously we know a lot of it. But your thoughts, did, did you think you'd get to this point now where you're starting and you've gone from walk-on to, to all this? Honestly, I didn't think I would get this far. Um, it's always the goal. My first goal was just to earn a scholarship, but being a key role, that was something I've worked up to and worked hard for. When did it hit you you could play effectively at this level? Was there a, a moment in time? Honestly, probably last year. Mm -hmm. I had those a uh, couple good punt returns, and then I was doing some stuff on offense, and I just knew, like, I could definitely play at this level. How similar do you, do you view yourself in, in Hudson, the paths you've taken? Yeah, we've got very similar paths. Um, he got on scholarship a little bit earlier than I did. and uh, But we, we have very similar paths, both guys that have to work for everything we've got. Um, but yeah. Do you appreciate it more because of that? What was it? Do you appreciate it more because of that? You yeah. Think? You always appreciate more when you have to work for something and not just hand it to you. I don't know if you heard of Brad after the game, or maybe he repeated this in the locker room, but he, he mentioned like anxiety, just people were anxious about that stuff, um, and that didn't see it coming. I'm assuming probably the same for all the players. 
but is there a point when you notice that like boy everybody's really tight boy everybody's anxious and then is there anything you can do or is that already you know genie's out the bottle there I feel like everybody gets kind of anxious right before the game um, seeing all the people out there but you kind of just have to keep yourself calm and collected um, there's nothing you can really do to change people's emotions and you kind of got to figure it out for yourself what you can do in those situations like me I just try to tell myself it's just another practice it's just another game like just try to be your best in those positions on the sideline or in the huddle or anything personally I did not I had my own like anxiety and stuff I had to figure out and get ready for so that's during the game coach Brown did mention that sometimes he can kind of see during the week if the team is getting anxious and kind of try to fix it, but this particular week he did not see it coming. As a leader of the team, did you see any of this coming? Or, or what did you think the, the vibe was leading into the game outside of just the hype and all of that? I think the, the vibe was kind of calm, cool, and collected. Um, everybody was pretty much ready for this game, and we just didn't play to our standard. Like, we're, we are a lot better team than that. Numerous times that you didn't play to your standards. Yeah, and, uh, I'm sure now with uh, two three days having passed, have you figured out wh why? How much that was Penn State? How much of that was you guys? How much of that was in in your control to do that? And why could you not correct it as it was going along? I would just say we didn't play good enough on offense or defense. Our special teams was good. Um, we didn't really, I mean, we had the ball on the ground a lot, and that's a big problem. I mean, compared to Penn State, they did not drop the ball that much. Um, we just need to be better in that situation. Um, nothing. That, Is there anything you can do to, to assure that that happens? That you in the game, you kind of just make corrections compared, like, like what you're like against the defense, but. Other than that, just we got to work more ball security in practice, work on, I mean, just getting to our standard like we have been all fall camp. We just did not play very well Saturday. What's it like to be a punt returner? And is there a fear factor there that you have? I mean, some people would have it. Yeah. You apparently don't. Mm -hmm. So what's that like? When I go out there, I just kind of try to be confident as I can not really think too much because people think too much and then it gets them all anxious and nervous about it. I just kind of go out there and don't think about it at all and just take reps just like I, I do in practice, just consistent, very consistent with that. There's talk, and it's probably going to come, that roster sizes in football are going to change and walk-ons would be eliminated. As a former walk-on, what's your thought of that proposal? My thoughts are it's just going to take away the having to work for something mm -hmm. aspect of it, which I don't, I personally don't like. But it's going to open up more spots for guys that don't get overlooked to be able to be on a team and be on a roster and be able to show themselves. Did you appreciate the walk-on path, or was it really difficult? And you wish now, looking back, you were a scholarship guy from day one. I really appreciate it. I mean, in the in the moment, it was really hard for me, personally. And but now that I look back, I really appreciate going through all that hard hardness of it. And I mean, it's it's made me the man I am today. So, a lot of games now. You you've got some experience with different teams. What is a top ten team in your opinion? And did we see one on Saturday at Penn State? Yeah. They, they definitely are a top 10 team, and they're going to have a lot of wins this year. But, I mean, we did not play to our standard, and we should have beat them. So we should have went out there and did our thing. But, I mean, we just didn't play to it. So you don't, off of that question, would you agree with any sentiment nationally now that maybe Penn State is even better than people thought, even though they were preseason top 10? Or was this just what Penn, you expected this from Penn State? You just thought you were closer and would have played better? Yeah, I I mean you always expect like them to be great, um, and they and they showed it. They're a good football team. Um, we just didn't play, like I said, didn't play as well as we should have. No. Preston, I know you're 
fearless, but the, you, you had a scary injury at Baylor last year. What, what, what was that like? Could you breathe when that happened? What was going through your mind during that? When I hit the ground, I pretty much, like, I was out of it. And I kind of, like, got up. And my whole, like, left side, left arm was just, like, numb. And I didn't really know what was going on. It was hard to breathe. Um, you guys probably saw that on the television. Um, and then I got off to the sideline, and I didn't really know what was going on, but I knew something was wrong. And we went off, and I ended up partially tearing my SC joint and then fracturing my sternum in my chest. So that was a pretty rough time for me. And I just needed, it's like basically like a, uh, a rib, a broken rib. Mm -hmm. It uh, just takes time to heal. So I had to take off for the bowl game and then get back healthy before I wanted to get back out there. Breathing problems, Renee, and I know when you have a broken rib, that can take yeah. weeks before you can breathe normally. It was mainly, so just that night was hard to breathe. And then the next morning, it was just honestly hard getting out of bed, like lifting up at all. Um, it was rough for a couple weeks.